Hey, I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to test and replace your crankcase pressure sensor on your KTM, Husqvarna, and Gas Gas fuel-injected two-stroke dirt bikes. These TPI bikes have been known to have some issues with the crankcase pressure sensors. And if these go bad, you're gonna have some running issues down in the lower RPM range, maybe that quarter throttle area. And if your bike is either bogging or cutting out there or running rough, then this is something you definitely wanna check out. Now the process will be similar for 2019 and newer 150s, 250s and 300s, but the process is gonna be a little easier for the 2020 and newer bikes because you also have a barometric pressure sensor that's exactly the same and you can simply swap those out and if the bike cleans up when you switch them, then you know that pressure sensor is bad and you need to replace it. So this is really simple to do and the bike we're gonna be showing you how to do it on is a 2021 KTM 250XC. So let's go ahead and get started. I recommend picking up a brand new crankcase pressure sensor since it will be the easiest way for most people to check if the old one is bad and get the problem fixed. If you need one of these, click the link in the description to pick one up. I do wanna point out that we aren't actually having any issues with the sensor that's currently on our bike, but we do wanna show you guys how to get this done if you are. To start out, we're gonna remove our seat and gas tank and I'm gonna use an eight millimeter T-handle to do that. The pressure sensor is located under the oil tank in a plastic tray right behind the cylinder. To remove it, we need to disconnect the wires by pressing up on the connector locking tab and pulling the connector off. For the 21 and newer bikes, the barometric pressure sensor is located on the right side of the bike in front of the shock. Again, you can use that sensor as a test sensor, but today we're just going to show you how to replace the crankcase pressure sensor. You can use a T25 wrench or T25 socket on a wobble extension to remove that mounting screw. What we're gonna have to do to get our tool in is press down on the front of the tray from the left side of the bike and then sneak our socket in from the right. When you remove these sensors, it is easy to break the tip on them, so be careful with it. Now, we're just gonna rock it back and forth to remove it, but you could also use a screwdriver to help pry it up. Now before we reinstall the sensors, we do want to clean up this hose that goes from the cylinder to that crankcase pressure sensor. Now the manual recommends that you clean this hose out about every 40 to 80 hours. So I'm just going to use some pliers, pull up those clamps, then pull the hose off. Now for that brass fitting, you can clean it out now if you want, but typically you're gonna be cleaning this out during a top end rebuild. So for this hose, what we're gonna do is just spray some compressed air through it. And then for the tray, I'm just gonna use a little bit of contact cleaner and spray that off. And I'm just gonna make sure this brass fitting is covered up with a rag when I do that. And once you have that cleaned out, we'll go ahead and reinstall the hose. Now, before you install your sensor, you wanna lube up this O-ring. We're gonna use some silicone spray and that way we don't get grease anywhere we don't want it. Then we can pop this back into place. We're gonna install the mounting screw and our electrical connector. The next step is to start the bike up and go ride it to verify that the cutout is gone. Now we do have replacement sensors available on our website and we offer free shipping on orders over $75. So check that out. And if you wanna see more helpful content like this, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions about the process, leave those down in the comments below. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Thanks for watching.